Hey everybody, this is Mr. Fowling, and welcome to our last podcast, last one, um, for the reaction unit. So, uh, I got a couple of things to run through, and it should be fun, fun, fun. Let's do it. All right, bond energy. Chemical reactions occur when bonds are broken or formed, or both, let's be honest. Um, Lewis dot structures show the bonds. Now, I want to relate what we've been doing before. As I go up here, so we're talking about breaking, so jumping at this part. Breaking bonds absorbs energy, releasing energy forms bonds. If you recall, this is potential energy, and this is progress of the reaction. This part right here that I just hatched up is bond breaking. So as you're breaking, that's absorbing energy. See how it's going up. Oh, look at that. And then I'm going to highlight going down. That's where bonds form. Okay. So remember, breaking absorbs bonds, releasing bond, releasing energy forms bonds. So that's our barf. Okay. Not the first time you've seen it. Not the last time you see it. Uh oh. Let's see if I grabbed my calculator in the right spot. I did. All right. So. How much heat is released through the complete combustion of propane, C3H8? So if you look at this, you'll be given the reaction. You'll probably have to balance it. See the 5, 3, and 4? You'll probably have to balance it. But you'll be given the Lewis dot structures. So what we're going to do is look at and count the bonds that we're going to break. Okay? So what we have here, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I have 8 C to H bonds. I'm going to do this in a slowish kind of step. And then I have three C to C bonds. Okay. And then I have one little two, little three, little four, little five, little O double O bonds. Okay. And then that's going to happen. Then I'm going to combine that with um, one, two, three, four, five, six, six. C double O bonds plus two, four, six, eight, eight uh, O to H bonds. Okay. So now remember, we are going to be, when we break bonds, we're going to absorb energy. So these guys right here are going to break them. Okay. They're going to be positive. Oh no. They're going to be positive. The ones over here. Are going to be negative, okay? Because this is where we're forming energy, and it's going to release energy. Forming bonds going to release energy. Okay, so let's get into that. Actually, my battery warning came up. Let's see, I got 21 minutes. Good. That's plenty of time for us. So over here in this chart, eight times 413. Now I'm going to call this positive 413 because I'm breaking it. And then three times C to C. C to C is right here, 348 positive 348 because breaking absorbs it and it's positive. Five times O double O multiple bonds. Here's O2. That's going to be positive 495. So notice I broke all of those. Now I'm going to form these other ones. Six C double O. C double O. Negative 799. So because I'm forming energy, I have to, I'm forming bonds, I have to release energy. That's why they're negative. Plus eight times O to H, O to H, negative 463. Okay, so then I'm going to math it up. Calculators assemble. 8 times 413, that's 3304. Plus 3 times 348, 1044. Plus 5 times 495, 2475. Plus Six times negative 799 is negative 4794 plus eight times negative 463 is negative 3704. And I know combustion reactions release heat, so that means I'm betting this guy right here is going to um, be exothermic. So let's see, 3304 plus 1044 plus 2475 minus 4794 minus 3704 equals negative 1675. And this right here 
is actually the delta H. How about them apples, huh? How about them apples? So draw the P diagrams to the reaction above, assuming one step. So what I'm going to do here, ooh, let me draw, is this is potential energy, right? And I'm just going to make it very generic. It's exothermic because it's negative, right? And the difference here, I'm just going to indicate my difference here. Delta H is negative 16, oh, this is kilojoules, 1675 kilojoules. That's all you got to do. Don't worry about don't worry about starting. Don't worry about ending. Just do that. Okay. Let's do another. Let's do another. This is all we're doing. But so this is it. Um, the reaction between CH2Cl2 plus Br2 yields CH2Br2. Um, endothermic or exothermic. Calculate the energy involved in this reaction. I got to do both. So what I'm going to do here is I should have done this before, but I didn't. I'm going to throw this guy right here again. Uh, I want them to be closer. There we go. Same thing, just want it on the same page for myself. Okay, so I gotta see if this is balanced. On the left, I have two carbons. On the right, I have two carbons. On the left, I have two hydrogens. On the right, I have two hydrogens. I have one carbon on the left. I have one carbon on the left. Two BRs, two BRs, everything's balanced. Woo! All right, so let's take a look. We're gonna have two uh, C to H's, all right? plus two C to CLs, whoops. Okay, and that takes care of this guy. Plus one BR, BR. Yields uh, two C to H's, plus two C to BR's, plus one CL, CL. Okay. So the left side is positive. So 2 times C to H is, I'm going to shorten this a little bit, 2 times C to H, this guy right here, right? So 2 times 413 is positive 826, plus 2 times C to CL, C to CL is right here, 2 times 328, that's going to be positive. 656 plus BR to BR. B here, BRs. Oh, yeah, you are. BR to BR is 193. And over here, I'm going to do plus negative 2 times C to H. C to H is going to be, um, oops, I'm going to do it this way. Plus 2 times negative C to H is 413 plus 2 times C to BR. CBR, 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 CBR. There it is. 270. Oop, hard to read. 276. 2 times negative 276. Again, these are negative because they're forming, so they're releasing energy. And then 1 CLCL is negative 242. Okay, there's a symbol. 826 plus 656 plus 193 plus, oh, it looks like I didn't do it as well. Combining is one, two, two times negative four, one, three, close parentheses, plus two times negative 276, close parentheses, uh oh. Okay, so two times negative 276, minus 242, and I got 881. All right, so we've got 881 kilojoules. Good. And it says, is it endothermic or exothermic? It's endothermic because delta H is positive. Okay. And then draw the PE diagram. So again, we know it's going to be plus 800. It's endothermic. It's going to go up. We're just going to label this as plus 881 um, kilojoules. We've got it. That's it. We're done. We're done. We're done with the whole unit. We're done with the whole unit. All right. I will say. Two, 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 two.